Hey, I'm Fight the Flat Earth, and welcome back to the channel where stupidity is older on, and I'm the Death Star. Before we get started, a couple of things. I mean, first, check out my new setup. A massive thanks to Stinger News One and the rest of the patrons. I can't thank you enough for the support you've given me. Now, I've got all this fancy green screen stuff. Just, just bear with me while I figure out how to green screen. I'm wearing a green t-shirt, aren't I? For fuck's sake, I love my Green Lantern top. Hold on. Right, that's better. Secondly, Mr. Cheswick has admitted defeat. Yes, Mr. Cheswick has given up on making videos about me, bowing down to the better man. I wonder why. Hmm, not going to be making another video about me, are you? Oh, Mr. Cheswick, how does it feel to be my puppet? Today on episode four of Flirt Say What, I'm a Muppet Bitch Globolius Retardius. Stick around to find out why. We're living on a disc, floating through space, with a tiny sun. Oh, I'm not done with Cheswick yet. Look at this video. In this, Mr. Cheswick whines about how he's got no views showing on his videos and oh, woe is me, YouTube is suppressing me and it's all a conspiracy. But here's the thing, and a perfect example of Flurf's inability to do any research beyond their immediate first impressions, like it looks flat to me, it must be. YouTube, and they've made no secret about this, are moving the Creator Studio to the new YouTube Studio, which is currently in beta. So, to demonstrate what I mean, let's look at my video of my interview with an ex-flat earther, Clear Cognition. I just click on the button here where it says YouTube Studio Beta at the top and check the stats on my new page. And yet, you say you're smarter than me and every scientist and engineer in the world. You guys are welcome to let him know his mistake. Link is up there in the description. Before we get started, I want to say a few thank yous to some people. First of all, Random Tings, the maker of the intro for my channel, the classroom scene, and the Fleur face smash. He also edited the recent response to Validation Boy the community did, so please check out his channel and tell him how awesome his work is. I also want to give a massive thanks to the people that are running my Discord server. Marvel Girl is head admin, um, Shivan Shu has made my emojis and stuff, and Kira R has made my FTFE signal. Finally, Look -a Pig has been invaluable in setting up and producing the streams that I've been doing. So yeah, a massive thanks to all those people. But okay, on with the comments. First up, Andrew, who I'm sure is a lovely, lovely fellow. The no capital only Muppet I see here is you, comma, no space. I'm just glad I know what you look like. So if I ever see you, comma, no space, you won't see it coming, you Muppet. So I replied with a triggering statement about how he's making threats of physical violence and that I'm earning money off of YouTube. To which he responded, It's not a threat, Muppet. It's a promise. So this is one of Delroy Dell's lot, and they all seem to be of a similar ilk. Look out for this piece of work in the comments and, you know, tell them what you think. Next up is Andy Muir, returning for a fourth week running. FTFE is still hiding from me. What a bitch. Yes, Andy, I'm hiding. You know, last week I put out eight videos, opened a Discord server, I'm on Twitter all the time, uh, constantly hand out my emails to flurfs as well as respond to many comments on my videos as time permits. So, um, yeah, I'm hiding. Globulius retardius, a confused, mentally subservient subspecies, characterized by an unquestioning belief in all things of authority. Timid and frail, this creature can usually be found at NASA fanboy launch circle jokes. Occasionally, they are found trolling the comments section of Flat Earth channels. If you should encounter one, report it immediately to the proper authorities. This can be cured, and 100% recovery is possible with full inner cranial transplant. 
Got to admit, for a flurf, that was pretty witty. I mean, nasty and totally wrong, but not bad, I guess. Um, looks like that's the bar that people need to be aiming for. Where are you finding these flat earthers? Three question marks. They're completely out of their wheelhouse and their ability destroying the globe and the ball lickers that lick the balls. Er, I mean globes. Hey, will you ball lickers show me a pic of your globe with the pencil size hole you made to stick your penis in so you can make love to it? I want to see that, please. Well, so much for the bar and have you been watching me? I, I mean, what? Everybody in this world experiences the world as level. Everyone experiences water as level. It's only people who represent fantasy that lead people away from reality. And it's these people who have caused a lot of pain and suffering for a long time now. You, Specky, should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, hey NASA, it's fight. Um, just check in. We're still getting the, uh, the pain and suffering bonus, yeah? I mean, I've got confirmation in some comments that I've been causing it for a long time. Brilliant, perfect. So that's not the last we see of Gaz Lee. This is your problem. You think it's a debate. Real is not up for debate. Something is real or it isn't. You say the globe earth is real. Show me your proof to back up your claim. Ha! Going with the classic, sir. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that I need to do every experiment and make every single observation that proves it's a globe myself? No, that's not how things work. The progress of science is based on the work and effort of people before us. We expand on this and improve our knowledge as we go. If everyone had to personally do everything, nothing would ever get done. But if you want to personally verify things, then go and do that. Instead of just saying it's wrong because reasons. So I then asked Gaz if he had paid attention to any of my videos. I don't need to pay attention. I know you're full of shit. That's all I need to know about you. So, there we are. First-hand admittance, Gaz doesn't need to pay attention. And do you know what? That sounds just like every flirt ever. Take an ocean voyage in any direction. Let me know when you start going up and down the sides of Earth. What a troglodyte you are, dude. You think the plains of Africa are hanging vertically on a spinging mass. All idiots believe this horse shit to be true. Try and give it some real thought and choose the shape that makes the most horse sense and not horse shit. Right, first off, I'm ex-Royal Navy. I've done the whole sea voyage thing. And secondly, you think down is south. That's so cute. You should learn the model before debating, you moron. Space full stop. No, double space flat earther thinks he's on a disc floating in space, ignorant fool. This again, every week, right. First off, the intro is meant to be tongue-in-cheek humour, poking fun at the whole Flat Earth thing in general. Secondly, there is a Flat Earther who thinks we are on a disc floating through space. Here's his channel link, and even more of Ali B, I'll be debating him tomorrow on this channel. So yeah. I'll debate and smash any of you Globers! Ah, perfect. See, I've been having issues finding flurfs to debate, so if one challenges me, I tend to send them my email straight away. So I replied with my email, to which the flurf set the world record for backwards pedal. First, first admit my arguments are valid. <clears throat> yeah, thought so. So again, any flurfs wanting to debate me, please email fighttheflatearth at gmail.com. I mean, you're on the internet anyway. I've been noting flurfs taking literally anything as a conspiracy or a reason to insult someone. And I knew that flurfs had come across my old Xbox channel that I made with my wife, Emma, and thought they could use that to insult me for some reason. So in my video to Validation Boy, I popped my Xbox One custom elite controller on the sofa so that I would get a comment like this. Console, no capital there, gaming is for mentally deficient globetards. I, no capital, feel it accurately reflects their brain's computing power. Dance, my little puppets. Dance. Next, we've got plain can opener. Wait, no, no, don't do that. This guy is a total moron. I can't believe the sheeple still believe they are spinning on the rock. Double space, not one proof of a stupid globe. Double space, the earth is stationary, plain and flat. Stop fighting and be amazed, joyful. Join us to explore the lands beyond the ice walls. No full stop. The land beyond the ice walls. Sounds like an awesome story. I'd go to see that movie. Too much dweebage. 
four full stops and a space. Just riddle me this. Four full stops and no space. What's the diameter of a photon? How is it isolated and measured? Uh... Sure, Riddler. Uh, a photon's diameter could be referred to as the width of its wavelength. So, a photon of green light is 500 nanometers, or two thousandth of a millimeter. You know, this can easily be found if you just go on the internet and look yourself. Last of the comments is from the godfather of the modern flurf movement. Thank you for introducing your subscribers to the Flat Earth concept. For those of you new to this, your world is about to change. Everyone laughs at first, but when you're done, ask yourself this. Can you prove the Earth is a globe without NASA? Because they didn't invent the globe. Do your own research and ask questions. Long live the flat Earth. Uh, turns out that that's a bot or something, because he comments that on literally everything, any channel he finds. Let's just all agree that Mark Sargent is a big joke, yeah? So, it's not only Flurf's comments that are keeping me entertained. Thanks to the almighty amount of butt hurt the flurfs are displaying, they keep pumping out videos about me. We're at 66 now. Cheese Dick says that he stopped making videos about me. Well, looks like this guy wants to take his crown. Okay, so this new channel, Celtic67, popped up. Doesn't really have many videos on his channel, but what he does have is some videos about me. In Friday's video, which was about Validation Boy, I mentioned how gravity is a fact and a mathematical law, not just a theory. He didn't take too kindly to this. If we have a quick look at the comments, we can see he's pinned Mr. Cheswick, who he obviously idolises because he wants to take Cheswick's crown of doing videos about me. And this is the actual comment thread in which Mr. Cheswick says that he won't do any more videos about me and then less than 24 hours later had a video out which had me in. But the point of this is to show you that the butthurt is strong. This wasn't the only video that he'd done because in this comment thread, I mentioned how it's basically making content for me, which is great because that means I can earn money, which in a predictable fashion prompted him to immediately make another video about me saying how I said, oh, make a video about me and it makes me money. I mean, he does see how that's really stupid and doing exactly what I want him to, right? But he wasn't done there. On Saturday, I was on the Non Sequitur show and straight after he brought out another video about me because I responded to him on the Non Sequitur show because I wanted them to make another video about me. This is the guy who keeps asking the same phrase over and over. He wants a uh, maintained gas pressure without containment and a practical example of water sticking to a ball. I've given him the answer many, many, many times, but he just keeps asking the same question over and over and over. Does anybody know there's some kind of like Flurf IT expert I can speak to? I think this one needs resetting. There is some more from trolls like P Mars, Timmy Osman, Delete the Elite, but you know what? They're just dickhead trolls. They're not Flat Earth and I don't really care what they've got to say. If you want to see my interactions with them, then go look at their channels because they've also made some videos about me. Although you might come away with a bad taste in your mouth. That's all the jealousy reeking out of the screen. And that's all for today. I'll be back tomorrow when I debate Ali B at midnight GMT, 8 p.m. EST. Then I'll be back on Friday hosting a debate between BM Furball and Flat Out Hero. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you aren't already. Get the notification bell on so you never miss anything from FTFE. Thanks to what is now my 6,000 subscribers and an extra massive thanks to my patrons. If you want to help support my channel, then now is a great time because all patrons, no matter what level of donation, will be getting a patron only video once a month starting from next week. Also, you can check out my merch store to get some cool gear with the code FTFE10. You can get 10% off throughout February. Um, just one more thing before we go. Thanks to Julian HG for making me my very own play button. That is amazing. Thank you very much. Remember guys, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Oh,